Jake Paul, Ben Askren. They fight tonight. Tonight is Saturday the 17th of April. They are fighting um, on Saturday the 17th of April. And today I'm going to be giving you my formal predictions for the fight. Um, you're going to be seeing this after the fight so you already know what's going to happen. I'm going to predict it, then react to it. And we're going to give it a complete rundown. I am a guy that boxes. Uh, I've never competed properly, but I have sparred a lot of times and I have boxing personal trainers. So I don't know completely what I'm on about, but I know the ins and outs of boxing. I know how it works pretty much. And I know that the contest we have on our hands tonight is, is one that could go either way. It's one that Jake Paul is either going to show his quality as a boxer and as an athlete this time. You know, last time he beat... Uh, Nate Robinson, which I thought he was going to lose. I thought that was the first time he's ever faced an actual athlete and he's not going to have the capabilities to find a way to beat him because athletes know how to win. Athletes have that winning mentality that maybe Jake Paul doesn't, but he beat him. He beat him at fair play. He beat Gibb. I didn't think he would beat Gibb and I've written him off twice and he's proved me wrong twice. Will he prove me wrong this time? Well now, as I was saying, we've got one guy in Jake Paul, who, who's a YouTuber, been boxing for three years. On the other hand, we've got an MMA champion who went undefeated for 10 years. Yes, wrestling was his go-to. On his feet, he never really um, looked very good at all. I think I was watching the True Geordie when he said, if you look at it, Ben Askren has no highlight reels of his stand-up. He didn't land many good punches in his whole career. And the punches that he did throw were to set up and shoot for that takedown. My counter argument to that is to go undefeated for 10 years in an organization like the UFC where you have the baddest, baddest men on the planet trying to cave your head in. To go undefeated for 10 years in that organization proves that A, he's got a granite chin and B, he's got that will to win. He has got that ability to find a way to win when it doesn't look like he's going to win. That fight against Robbie Lawler, he was completely out of it. There was a, a minute in that fight where Robbie Lawler was, was grounding was grounding and pounding, was ground and pound um, and smashing his face in. And he still found a way to win that fight, whether the submission was um, legit or not. He still found a way to win. And I think that's one of the biggest things with Ben Askren is he will find a way to win. You do not go undefeated for 10 years in the UFC and become a champion if you don't have that will to win. Another thing is Ben Askren has, it has a track record of picking things up very quickly. He was an Olympic wrestler and very quickly transitioned into MMA and, and the UFC and completely dominated that Albeit the wrestling was a huge part of that, but he picked up the, the striking and the clinching and the Muay Thai, everything like that. He picked that up very quickly because he transitioned from the Olympic wrestling into the MMA very quickly. And a man that can pick up all the other um, martial arts as well as wrestling very quickly is going to be able to pick up um, boxing very, very quickly as well. And the footage that we have from the open workout is, is positive for Ben Askren. It is positive. I mean, coming into the fight before the open workout, mate, it, it was mudded. It was mudded. But after the open workout, his punches did seem to have a little bit of snap on them, a little bit of flow to it, and he, and he was landing good, solid punches. I know anyone can look good on pads, but it's much better than what we had seen before. And... That is why this fight is so interesting and I'm I'm not going to be watching it. I'm not going to be watching it because I can't be asked to stay up that late. But the morning after, the morning that you're seeing this video, I will wake up and it will be the first thing that I check who won out of that fight. And I will watch it when I wake up. So um, I'm intrigued by it. It's going to be a great fight. My prediction is that Jake Paul's going to come out, win the first round and throw a lot of punches in the second in the first and second round. Ben Askren's gonna get through that pretty easily. I mean I don't I don't really see a world where Jake Paul can hurt Ben Askren as more than he's ever been hurt before, if you get what I mean. Ben Askren's taken absolute bombs off absolute killers in the UFC. I don't reckon 
a guy that's been boxing for three years has the ability to, to take out Ben Askren like that. So I think he'll get through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might be made to eat my words. Imagine if I'm made to eat my words after that. I reckon he's gonna get through the first two rounds. Jake Paul is gonna tire out and then when Jake Paul gets dragged into waters that he's never been dragged into before in a fight, I reckon he's gonna panic and that a lot of gaps will start to appear and I reckon Jake Paul gets taken out in the, the fifth or the sixth round or Ben Askren wins on points. So I reckon Ben Askren is gonna win probably on points. I don't know if he has the power to take out Jake Paul, but I think it just depends on how quickly Jake Paul tires out. So, Jake Paul is gonna lose to Ben Askren tonight. with former world champion John Pascal and also Bruce Well, fair play. Fair play to Jake Paul. I mean, you just seen my prediction. I thought Ben Askren was going to win um, and he got knocked out in the first round. Um, I did say it was going to be the first couple of rounds. Jake would come out and throw punches and look to land. Um, and if Ben Askren could get through those first couple of rounds, he would win the fight. But he, he couldn't get through the, the first round, I think. The things that I've taken away from the fight is that the stoppage was early, the stoppage was poor. Um, I think a man that fought and was a, a champion in the UFC and in MMA organisations should have been allowed to, to go longer and to get through one knockdown. I think Ben Askren's tough. Ben Askren is a tough guy that, that can take a lot of punishment and we saw that from the the fight against Robbie Lawler, and I think the stoppage was was poor, and I think that he should have let him go uh, a, f a bit longer than that to see if he'd get anything going. But apart from that, I was disappointed with what I saw from Ben, but at the same time I was impressed with what I saw from Jake. Jake was mixing it up, going to the head and to the body. Um, he was landing pretty much at will at times. The, the fight only went for about a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes, so not that much to go off, but. He was varying it up, going to the head and to the body. Um, and when Ben did charge at him like we've seen in his MMA fights, and uh, he probably knew it was going to happen, but when ben, ben did charge at him, he kept his composure. He, he circled around the ring and moved back very, 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 very well. I thought he would try and pick him off with the right hand as he came in, but he didn't. He just stepped back and circled around the ring very, very well and showed composure there. And I think... That's one of the, the main things that coming into the fight and before the fight, I wasn't too sure about. Do, will he have the composure? Will he be good enough to, if he takes a bit of punishment, which we still haven't seen, which I'll get onto in a minute. But when there's a guy that knows how to throw punches um, and can take a hit, and he's still gonna be in his face, will he have the composure? And he showed he did, he showed he did. He landed a few shots on Ben, especially to the body, and Ben was still there coming forward, still um, was in his face and looked as if he could do some damage. Um, and he kept his composure and picked him off very well. I think the shot that knocked him down was set up quite well with going to the body a lot of times before and then coming upstairs to the, to the head of that overhand. Um, and yeah, overall, it, it was a good performance from Jake. I was I'm pretty, pretty impressed with what I saw. I think the main thing now is what he's going to be like when he takes punishment. That's one thing that I'm disappointed that we didn't see uh, in this fight. I think I was expecting to see, as Ben Askren said in the interviews after, I was expecting to see what he's like when he takes a bit of punishment. I thought he was going to get clipped a few times um, and potentially either cower away or come into the fight and stamp his dominance, but we didn't really see that. Jake has said that he's not, he doesn't know what he's gonna do next in terms of fighting. I'm not, I don't expect him to go and fight a, a professional boxer. I think that's too, too high a level for him. I mean, Tommy Fury's calling him out, but that's, I've, in my opinion, just for clout. But overall, my instant reaction, this is my instant reaction, I'm recording this at uh, on Sunday at 11 a.m. So my instant reaction of just waking up, watching the fight back and everything, it was a good performance. It was a good performance from Jake. Um, 
and you know, fair play to him. A lot of people are saying that the fight was scripted or it was rigged or it was fixed. I think they're saying that because they just don't want to give him credit. And I don't like Jake Paul. I'll be the first one to say how much I do not like him. But from that performance where I thought he was going to lose and I thought he was going to get beaten and, and taken to deep waters and not have the heart to, to get out of them, fair play to him. Fair play. He's got in there against, yes, a guy that has never been any good on his feet, but he's got in there against a fighter. He got in there against an athlete and won, and got in there against a fighter and won. So fair play to him. Would have seen, would have liked to have seen more from from Ben. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't have liked to have seen uh, Jake Paul laid out on the canvas? But fair play to him. I'm taking my hat off. Fair play. Jake Paul has won in the first round with with a bit a big punch. I do think the stoppage was poor. Uh, I think Ben should have been um, allowed to continue, but. That's it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you respect Jake Paul more now for, for that performance? Do you think he's proved himself on the boxing stage or do you still think he's got more to do? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't around here so you don't miss out on any future content coming soon. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice rest of your day. Goodbye. She wants to be my one, that girl she wants me to I just wanna be free, I just wanna do me I just wanna do me and then Feelings and all the mix, I like you but I'll never let me know